Welcome back to Let's Play Ghost 1.0, Burning Dog fans. <sighs> I can't seem to speak well today. One of the uh, things I was trying to say earlier was that, uh, yeah, there were two things I wanted to mention to clarify. One of them was the fact that there's a number sign in the titles of these videos, even though they're not side videos, because I just wanted to separate the title Ghost 1.0 from the uh, episode number in order to make the things less confusing, you know, easier to parse. Get back in there, champ, says my lozenge wrapper. The other thing I wanted to clarify is uh, why I'm playing this game. It's because, uh... Well, uh, ever since late October, I had been playing a surprisingly long horror game called The Evil Within. Uh, I recommend it, by the way, if you're into that sort of thing. Uh, specifically, we finished off on the final DLC chapter, The Executioner. Now, if you didn't watch that series, this is what The Executioner is like. You animal! Death. Oh. Goodness gracious. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I wanted something that was remarkably different from that. So here we have a bright, colorful, science fiction-y Metroidvania game. It doesn't even l feel anything like that, because it's a 2D exploration game instead of a linear uh, third- or first-person game. And, uh, most importantly of all, it's got humor. Aha! Unlocked. What is she holding, anyway? It's just a flashlight. I'm sorry, he's leaning forward there. Did you notice that the uh, gun in her hand changed from the shotgun to the pistol while I was, uh... Climbing the ladder. I hit the fire button while I was on the ladder, and that's what came up. Jump wave. When you jump, a small wave is generated that damages nearby enemies. Power ups are passive I upgrades with no time limitation that can be activated and deactivated. Drone. A flying drone that follows you and shoots enemies! That's awesome! I love having little friends. Interval acceleration. The rate of primary gunfire is increased. Precision one. The precision penalty when moving is halved. That's really good. Repair repairs thine robot for 50 HP. Outer coating. External armor is improved, increasing your max HP by two, uh, 20. Okay. Yes. And... Yes. Oh yeah. Now here's gonna be the problem if it automatically fires when it encounters enemies. Honestly, I've had more of a problem with that. You have the best store I've seen so far, dude. I gotta say. I want all of this shit. I want this more, I guess. Achievement unlocked. Collector number one. Collect five power-ups. I'm really glad this game does this. Because, uh... For some reason... Okay, I'm doing it right now. Uh, the Steam interface doesn't seem to be recorded, which is kind of a problem for me. Look, I can hold it over here and say Metalsome. This is one I'm so close to. Cut a conversation between two droids by possessing one of them. Oh. Well, I can do that. 
You know what? I'm just going to backtrack over there. Oh, but first I should see if it opens fire on its own accord. Oh, it does. That could be problematic. I mean, I can disable it at any time. Although, holy shit, that's going to be really helpful for this specific purpose. And clearing out mines and such. I'm going to call you Bob. Actually, you know what? For some reason, the shape of it kind of reminds me of those guys from uh, Dust and Elysian Tail. What did I call them? Welcome to our humble cave. Roberts? Nathan's? It was a long version of a name that is usually shortened. Well, that's not important right now. What is important is that I just saved and kept all that junk I just bought. I have to look into the thing with the Steam interface. Because I didn't realize that until the uh, first session of this. And now I'm kind of afraid to go back and check uh, the uh, Evil Within videos. Golden key card required. Awesome. I don't think I even needed that, really. Ha! I had a feeling it was going to be up there. that. I didn't need that. I'm glad I did it. Nice. Achievement unlocked Meddlesome. Cut a conversation between droids by possessing one of them. Now then. Banzai! Fuck am I meant to do this? Ah! Weird that that never decayed. At last. I've found you. Houston, this was the last part of the password. The green access card is now complete. Good job, Achievement. Ghost. We can now proceed to green sector. There it is. Green access. Obtain the complete green card. Mr. Yamato, I've been told we have an intruder in outer heaven. Is that true? Mimoko-san, I have it under control. Our defense system is... Why the hell was I not informed? Sir, with all due respect, I didn't have enough information to write a report. And how the hell did it get in? We suspect they bypassed our controls in the space lift. They? How many intruders are there? We've already destroyed a few. There shouldn't be many of them left. Mr. Yamato! Your security department is the shame of this corporation. Do whatever must be done. Yes, sir. Is it me or did Mr. Yamato look super white? Oh, 
Alright. Just the whitest. I mean, his boss is clearly Asian, but... He did not look that way. Uh, yeah, okay. I am going to save first, because that was important. Faster to go the other way. Fuck it. Hmm. Where did I want to go in the first place? Here? No, it's here, wasn't it? Yeah. I like that it can print a fully functional robot body in seconds. That's really neat. Gonna save some time. Ghost Boogan here. Be mindful of your power-ups. Some of them could damage those tubes. It'd be best to disable them while you're in there. Maybe you're right. Uh... Oh yeah, look at that. Much more accurate. I did just save. Fine! Okay, it damages you. Okay. I'll, uh, quit there without saving. Previously on Ghost 1.0. Houston, this was the last part of the password. The green access card is now complete. Good job, Ghost. We can now proceed to green sector. Hmm. And now the outcome. Okay, now we know. It doesn't, like, blow up the whole room and kill you. But it does create dam steam dangerous enough to damage you. Which doesn't sound all that exciting for a video game until I remind you that it's a fucking robot we're talking about. So I don't think that's water vapor coming out of there. I like that they don't even recognize me as an intruder. They don't even know what they're looking for. Oh, that's right, I teleported. Duh. Ahem! Previously on Ghost 1.0. No, oh, not this time. Oh, shit. I feel bad for interrupting. Where is the save point? You know what? It will still be faster if I do this. Ghost Boogan here. Be mindful of your yes, powers. Yes, yes. Some of them could damage those tubes. It'd be best to disable them while you're in there. Oh yeah, that thing's right there, isn't it? God damn it. Sometimes these ladders are really weirdly finicky. No! Well, 
Oh, that was lucky. I'll get used to it eventually. Come on, no hands. That'd be much more amusing if I had a uh, webcam. And one to grow on. Action roll. Roll up the stairs. All right, enough of this nonsense. Ah, yes, the flashing green arrow. It's a big old ore. That's a boss fight. Okay. Houston, I found something strange on the ground. Any idea what it is? Looks like something was crushed. I'm going to examine it. Okay, smash the hands. Oh. any of this. Can't move when he does that. little damage for a boss, and that's the only reason I'm still alive. What is this thing? I can't see shit! This is not cool! Damn it! That's no good. Hey, Jacker. If this all goes well and we become famous, do you think they'll make a video game about us? Ugin, if all this goes well, we won't be famous. No one will ever know we've been inside the NSS. But hypothetically, what if we became famous? Well, heroes of games tend to be male, white, and hunks. I am fat. 
you are black and Ghost is female, so our chances look pretty grim. Are you serious? <laughs> What's with the discrimination? Don't ask me. A game is supposed to sell better if the hero has that profile. Damn. I wanted to star in a video game. Ah, yes. Boogan the Assassin. A good man on the wrong side of the law. Face it, Boogan, you wouldn't make an interesting character. Good man? Me? You don't know me, Jacker. I'm a dangerous man. Mm-hmm. Watch out for the Boogan man. He'll catch you when you're asleep. Well, the timer went during that. And I think that's a much more positive note to leave off on than me getting stomped into the ground, literally. So, uh... Let's just call that a chest run for next time. I'm Burning Dog Face. And I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Ghost 1.0, when we continue the journey and, uh, put that big ape in the ground where he belongs. Later!